Okay, let's let's, let's take one. Take one. Sakura san no Ashimoto. Sakura san no Ashimoto wa chita o ka ga ga ma tu tu po pa. Sakura ka san no Ashimoto ni wa tu shi tu ko pa su ta ta. We're talking beautiful bones. <laughs> All right, guys. I can't say the name. All right, it's long and hard. Whatever. Sakura Sun, so beautiful bones. We're talking about beautiful bones. So first episode. So it was recommended from my buddy Flying Tiger. So I said, why not? Let's check it out. Uh, I need some new anime in my life, so let's do it. Um, this was a pretty good episode. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't fantastic, but it wasn't too bad. If you haven't seen this episode, this is basically about. A uh, woman who's named Sakura Sono. Sakura Sono? I think it's. Uh, hang on, real quick. Uh, Sa- Sakurako. Sakurako. And she has a fetish for bones. No. She loves collecting bones. She's definitely this. She knows exactly what she's doing. She's, uh, she's very beautiful. She's witted. She's. Uh, she just has a hobby of collecting bones that she developed basically from her her uncle, I believe. Her uncle. Uh, and she has this kid that tags along with her. Uh, I don't want to say a kid kid. She looks like he's from high school and stuff. But his name is Tati Waki. But she calls him boy. She calls him boy. He gets a little bit mad every time she calls him boy. Well, in this episode, they go to the harbor or the beach or the ocean side. And they find... You know, they're looking for bones. Looking for bones. She tells boy, like, I'll stop calling you boy. And I will treat you to a shrimp feast if you find me something amazing. And you got to know by Sakura Roku is that she is very recluse. She doesn't like people. She doesn't like talking to people. All she loves most in life is her music and her bones. She loves her bones. So, boy, Tatiwaki. Tatewaki, I think that's how you say it, um, grabs, finds a human skull, and she is just in love with it, she knows exactly what happened to this person, because there's a blunt, looks like a blunt force, a little chip on the forehead, um, she, she, she knows, she she knows how to pretty much look at a crime scene and knows exactly how these people died and stuff, and what's interesting is, wherever she goes, uh, Tatewaki says this, is that, they always find human remains and in this episode they he calls the police the police takes her pretty much in she's pissed she's like i want my that's my that's my skull that's my skull they come across a crime scene uh she analyzes it she knows exactly what happened it's not a suicide it's a homicide um or a hom. it's not a homicide it's a murder basically so and then that's, that's pretty much the gist of the episode it's really just showcasing these two characters their relationship and well we still don't know how he came to be by her side uh her family her characteristics the episode started off a little bit slow it picked up but it definitely is a uh it's definitely an interesting if you like mystery it's not. It's not. I said another uh, when I did was with Flying Tiger in a live stream, but another is not a good example because another is a horror mystery. When this is no horror, this is definitely a mystery kind of comedy. It's. It's really. If you like a mystery, you're, you're gonna you're gonna really like this because I feel like every episode also is going to be that of them solving mysteries or something like that. In some case, it's. It's it it definitely has me interested, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I once the new episodes come in, I hopefully it gets a little bit better and hopefully it gets a little bit more um, something 
more un- more interesting comes along the way or they have to do something or they stumble upon something that leads to another like a, a good adventure I think the animations looks really great. The animations. The animation looks great. I think uh, the characters. I'm not invested in them yet. I think I got to get to know them a little bit more. So that's why more episodes. That's why I'm very. I always give the first episode a pass. So can't wait to see what the second episode is. And if I can grasp onto it more. This, the whole idea of her loving these bones is actually very fascinating. Because those there are people out there. And that's what was in back of my head when watching this episode was. There's people out there that love collecting bones, that love, if you've seen American Horror Story Freak Show, people are always fascinated with either death or very, people who are unique and have, you know, different kind of, like the elephant man, like, the, every, people are fascinated by that. So, and that goes for everything else too there's hobbyists there's people who go antique shopping there's people who buy freaking they go sock shopping i don't know with this though it's it, if it feels like yeah i could see a person really just loving bones and and if it comes to human skulls man that's winner winner chicken dinner so uh so that it, that characteristic is what grasps me into it like I haven't really seen too many characters in my life that have uh, been showcased like that when it comes to anime. Other than, you know, that's not kind of like grounded in the series. This series is pretty grounded. It's not like has magical, superstitious powers. It does have unique style of how they're showcasing her analytics and how she's thinking of what occurred in this murder. But overall, like I haven't seen a character who, or a character in a setting where it's just a normal city normal life just everyday life and nothing you know like and nothing magical or spiritual coming on or whatever um that and she likes bones <laughs> she's just a regular person who just loves bones so that's an interesting aspect as well well i t- talked a little bit way too long <laughs> but overall this episode was actually pretty it was a. Uh, it was good. It was good enough for me to warrant another episode. Uh, I hopefully it picks up, like I said, because I could see this. The series could get boring. It could go that way. Like, uh, some of these cases may be not that interesting, or it might not even be that way. It might be one huge plot line and one huge adventure they had to go upon, or maybe they're free. I don't know. I don't know. I have no clue what's going on. I don't know if there's. I think there's a light novel on this. I'm not sure. Um, but I am looking forward to the second episode and hopefully uh, I get more grasp on these characters and their relationship and also the th- uh, hopefully they kind of really build upon this first one and just keep going up. So thank you guys for listening. I'm Dan Maneki Down Sun. You can always find me here with all my videos. Please push the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Like the video if you like it and comment below. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on this episode. If you really did enjoy it more than I enjoyed it, but if you're ecstatic, if you know what's going to happen and you're just like, oh, you just got to wait, you got to wait because it's going to get good, then, I, man, I'm, I'm hoping, yeah, that's, I'm excited then. Um, thank you guys for listening. I didn't make it, so bye.